Dear Lord, we thank you for the brave and faithful dead who willingly laid down their lives on the battlefields of war or succumbed to the perils of the deep or of the air. We bless you for the dauntless courage of those who are defenders of our country who have fallen in the cause of truth and righteousness. In your hand, O oh Father, we leave your departed spirits. Grant us to follow your good example in faithfulness, even unto death. Amen. 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 To everything there is a season and a time for every purpose under heaven. A time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, a time to reap, a time to kill, a time to heal, a time to laugh, a time to weep, a time to build up and a time to break down, a time to dance and a time to mourn, a time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. God of peace, let this time be a time for peace, understanding, tolerance, acceptance, laughter, joy and compassion. Amen. Amen. On this day, above all days, we remember those Australian men and women who died and suffered in the great tragedy of war. On the morning of 25th of April 1915, Australian and New Zealand troops landed under fire at Gallipoli. And it was then, and in the violent campaign which followed, that the Anzac tradition was forged. The elements of that tradition have inspired and offered an enduring example to later generations of Australians. Each year we pay homage not only to those original Anzacs, but to all who died or were disabled in the service to their country. They enriched our nation. Their hope was for freedom of mankind, and we remember with pride their courage, their compassion, and their comradeship. They served on land and sea and in the air, and in many places throughout the world. Not only do we honour the memory of those Australians who have fallen in battle, we share the sorrow of those who have mourned them, and of all who have been victims of armed conflict. On this day we remember with sympathy those Australians who have suffered as prisoners of war and those who, because of war, have had their lives shortened or handicapped. We recall staunch friends and allies, especially those of the first Anzac Day. May we, our successors, prove worthy of their service. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me into the path of righteousness. For his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod, your staff, they comfort me. You prepare the table before me in the presence of the enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever.
They shall not gall as we that are left gall. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. The going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. Let's we forget. Thank everyone for turning up today. It's always a special little spot out here to do it. So. Thank you very much. Thank well, you very much. Yep. Thank you. We'll be having a bit of a breakfast there later on if you want to join us tonight. Bit of barbecue breakfast. So no worries. Can you practice your singing in the meantime? Yeah. You don't do a beat after that, eh? You don't do a beat after that, eh? You don't do a beat after that, eh?